Last year, I became aware of a documentary film um, coming out of America called Alive Inside. What became evident through that film was the sheer power of, of music for people with dementia, and it made complete sense to introduce Wishing Well to the Emerald Unit. Sometimes we've sat here, you know, we keep on saying things over and over again, but with music, it's so she. We know through our scientific understanding of the brain that music is something that a person with very advanced dementia can still respond to, that the, the part of the brain that's stimulated by music is one of the last to be affected. As dementia progresses, it becomes harder and harder for people to say what they feel and what they think and what they need. Music helps us form a rapport and a connection with that individual, which helps us have a relationship with them, which helps us look after them. We have lovely, kind of beautiful moments with most visits where there are people who maybe just, I would say, use the word, kind of shut down in some way. Uh, and when they hear music, they start to come to life. And literally with the body language, you can see the senses opening up. They're starting to reconnect outwards again, rather than just being in their own inner world. Between us, and I think this is also part of the specialist training that we've received, physicians in healthcare, just to, to adjust what we do to that moment, to that situation, to that person, to what's going on in the space. I'm so crazy just for the love of you. And I think a really important thing that everybody watching, they just have to spend a couple of minutes thinking about their own life. You know, think about songs from their own childhood, think about their first breakup song, think about the song that they had as the first dance at their wedding, think about the songs that maybe their children sing, you know, think about the song they put on when they need to go 